My name is Anthony and this video is part of a larger playlist on Forza Horizon 4 tuning. After watching this video, you'll be able to create a truck tune for any of your favorite off-road vehicles in Forza Horizon 4. Today we have a 1993 Toyota T100 Baja truck, which not only looks cool, but is also a blast to drive around the open world of Horizon. It is an A-Class vehicle with a performance index of 732. Let's do a build targeting a PI of 800. And we will focus on more traction and more power since our weight reduction options are limited here. For this truck, it is common to do an all-wheel drive conversion. We'll also add a turbo. The sound and power of a turbo always makes me smile. This truck has a lot of suspension adjustment available by default, so we won't need to do the usual upgrade path. Instead, we will fill in a gap or two so we can tune everything as we usually do. In this case, we want a race differential. And while we are here, we can upgrade all driveline or drivetrain parts, including a race transmission. And that will allow us to tune gears to this new turbocharged engine. And we'll throw a race clutch in there too. Now for some more power. We'll beef up the turbos, and that brings us to a nice round A800 build. You could keep going to 900 with more upgrades, and most of the steps you follow here for tuning will be similar. Usually I go for a test drive, but I know with these upgrades and weight changes, it would just be a waste of time. Let's tune the suspension and gearing right now while we're still in the garage. Grab your copy of Forza Tune Pro, and if you don't have the app, you can simply copy the values and still learn a bit about how to set things up properly. When at the festival or one of your houses, go into the power upgrade screen to get the information for tuning. On the app, we'll create a new tune and find the specific truck here at the top. Then copy over the values for weight, front weight percentage, and performance index. We will select all wheel drive and then cross country or off road tuning. The app knows that this vehicle has an adjustable truck suspension by default, so leave the tune type as it is. And we'll also want to do a quick gear tune for this one. We hit the next button and it asks us for some gearing related info. I try to avoid tuning gears whenever possible but entering several values here makes it much, much easier when I do need to do a gear setup. So let's copy over the max torque value. And then you want to look at the graph. Imagine a line moving down and the first point it touches is where the max torque would be. Now drop a line down and that will tell us at what RPM this peak value happens. At about 5,400 RPM. The red line is wherever the graph ends, so I like to imagine a vertical line moving to the left, and wherever it hits is our value on the bottom axis of the graph. Again, if each block is 1200 RPM, then we are a little more than three blocks away from 6000. A fair estimate would be 9800 RPM for red line. We added turbos, so we will hit yes for forced induction. We have six gears, and if you ever get to the tuning menu and realize you have more or less, it's very easy to jump back here in the app and change it. Now we switch the upgrade view to the rear tire size. We want to use rear tire size whenever tuning rear or all-wheel drive vehicles. We'll copy over three values here. And then we can toggle the display using the directional pad to show some simulated stats. In this case, our zero to 100 mile per hour acceleration time is 12.87 seconds. And the simulated top speed is about 184 miles per hour. These values don't need to be exact. It just helps Forza Tune understand what the truck can do. That's it, hit next and we have all of our tuning values. In Forza Horizon, we'll jump out to the tuning menu and copy over the tire pressures. Then we can set our new gears. 
You may be thinking the value for the final drive seems odd. What Forza Tune is effectively saying is this is a very wide power band, and you probably don't need all six gears. So in your build, feel free to lower the final drive and just use four or five gears. You have options here. But we'll leave it as it is, and notice how we reduced our 0 to 100 acceleration time by over 2 seconds. I'm usually happy with half a second, so this amount of improvement is great. Alright, let's finish up here with our new alignment values, and we'll also set our anti-roll bars a little higher than the default settings. These are also now rebalanced for weight and weight distribution changes we made during the upgrades. Our new spring values are also now rebalanced, and with off-road, you want maximum ride height or close to it. We'll rebalance and customize the damping. The setup is a little firmer than default, but not by much. We can skip arrow and set our brakes, which will always be 50-100. But feel free to use whatever brake force you prefer. And last but not least, we will copy over our differential settings. Alright, time to have some fun. What I look for in a solid truck tune is the ability to steer well even as you absorb bumpy terrain and land after jumps. I've built rear wheel versions of this truck with Forza Tune Pro and it's still very controllable too, so feel free to give that a try as well. But overall, this is another fun tune. At one point, I was chasing down trains. Later on, I was tearing up the mud park. And my favorite game of carving through the forests and seeing how long I can go before hitting some trees. Let's recap everything we did here. We took a stock T100 Baja truck, converted it to all-wheel drive, added turbos, and then retuned handling and gearing. The new truck is a great and fast way to explore the corners of the Horizon map. In our next Forza Horizon tuning video, we'll do a build for a very popular buggy. Stay tuned. <laughs>